Hello and welcome Bamboo Bike Builders. Um, this is another live session brought to you from Bamboo Bicycle Club. We're live here in London, so thanks for joining us. What we do is we help people to build bamboo bikes and you can do it at home or you can do it at our workshops. I'm James and I'm going to run you through this quick session and this session is all about seats. So these things. So we're going to show you how you get a conventional seat to fit into a bamboo frame. So I'm going to talk you through um, how you fit the seat into the bamboo and a bit of troubleshooting, so to give you a couple of tips. If you're at home, congratulations for hitting Wednesday. Well done. And to celebrate, let's, I'm going to have a beer. So if you want to join in, grab a beer, grab anything you like out of the fridge. I've got... Um, Clown Shoes, which is the which is an American mango beer. So it's a bit fruity. It's been at the bottom of the pile for a while. So I thought I'd give it a go and see what it's like. Fortunately, in London, we're kind of hitting better weather, thankfully. So it's nice to have a more fruity beer. So if you've got any questions, feel free. I'm going to start and just explain a bit further about what I'm talking about. Okay, so in your kit, you'll get a standard bit of bamboo like so um, that is for the seat sleeve. And it's longer than you need. So you're talking kind of 700 mil long and you're only normally going to need 560, 540, 560 millimetres that is. So what I'm going to talk you through is how you trim the bamboo down so it will fit and how you insert this small seat sleeve here. So if you missed our metal insert session, I talked through all the different types of metals that we insert into the bamboo and that gives us our tolerances that we need to make the bamboo work as a conventional frame. Obviously in a dream world you'd pick the perfect bamboo that would have the right tolerance but fortunately or unfortunately bamboo is a natural product so the sizes are always going to vary. So by using a standard sleeve, we can fit to the tolerances of the bike industry. So we can fit a 27.2 seat post into our bamboo. And that's what this sleeve does. So this comes in your kit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like and what to think about. So if you've got a piece of bamboo, you can test the fit. And if the fit is a bit tight, so going in here, so the first thing to look at, if the fit is too tight, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a rounded file. So you take a file and you file the inside of the bamboo just gently until this fits perfectly inside. So that's the first issue. Does it fit? If it's slightly off, very slightly, you'll just file the inside walls. It's probably going to take you five, 10 minutes, and then this will slide in. The other key consideration is, if you have a piece like this and it's loose, okay, say you've used your standard seat sleeve and you want to use your spare and something and the fit isn't as perfect. What you can do, if this is moving around, you can take a piece of flax, so a piece of flax from your kit, and you can cut what's known as a shim. So you cut the flax to be the perfect size of the seat sleeve, like this. Roll that around, and that will then insert inside of the bamboo. So I just need to trim this a little bit more. So if it doesn't fit perfectly, you can use a flax, which is the fiber that comes into your kit and you can cut it to match perfectly around the seat sleeve. I would, while you're building, I would fit this dry. And then once you've fitted it in, you can then wet it when you're doing the rest of the epoxy. And so I wouldn't necessarily, I'd do this as a dry fit first because then you can just test the fit. So this is if the bamboo is too big inside. So all I'm doing there, it's just twisting that in. And now that fits really nicely. So that's if the bamboo is too big. 
Okay. If it's too small, you're going to need to file. The next option is if it's a perfect fit. Okay, so I'll get that one to the top one that doesn't fit. And I'm going to talk you through how to get the perfect fit. So this is a perfect fit. So you can see it slides in, tiny bit of movement. There's a benefit to having a little bit of movement. And the benefit is that as heat, as the aluminium sleeve inside heats up, you're going to get some thermal expansion. So if there's a little bit of room for the glue to soak up any gaps, that's a really, really good fit. Now, one thing to consider, if you look at this side and you see a node here, what's gonna happen is if I fit the seat tube in, like so, and then I fit my seat post, you're gonna end up with the seat post hitting this node here. So, if you look at this option, this fits perfectly. So you can see that the node is further down, gives you lots of clearance to adjust your saddle, okay? And that works really, really well. So the other thing to be really, really careful of is where your nodes are on the bamboo that you're using. So this is really good because you've got a long stretch here, and if you look at your seat post, that fits perfectly. So again, just one consideration to make is when you're building a bicycle, the components determine the fit, okay? There's no point going, oh, this fits really well in this end and not having clearance for your post. It's really important that you assess and that you judge where the seat post goes. So I'm gonna just demo that to you guys. I've picked this piece up, okay? And you can see this node is very short, so that's not great. And you can see that this is reasonably long, but there's quite a lot of space. So I'm just gonna test that. And if you see here, you can see I can't put a lot of the seat post in. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a long stretch here. I'm gonna put my, my seat sleeve in here. So if you're just joining us, I'm talking all about seat sleeves how to fit sleep, seat sleeves inside of the bamboo. This is requested by someone that asked me a question this week. They're like, it'd be great to see a video of how you do this. So I've got my sleeve, I've got my bamboo. This is a good fit, but what I want is I want a bit more space for the seat post to fit. So I'm gonna just demo that. So. And I've got a bamboo mug here. If you look at our earlier videos all about bamboo, I talk about how waterproof and what usage you can do. So I've got a bamboo beer mug, you can have a coffee mug, whatever you fancy. There's loads of things you can do with bamboo. So I'm gonna mask this off. And it's really good just to mask bamboo off when you cut it because it stops the fibers from spreading. I'm gonna pop this in just a tabletop vise. And as it's the top of my frame, I'm gonna try and cut this as squarely as possible. So I'm gonna use the jaws of the vise just to line this up. And I've just got a Japanese saw here. So these are really nice, but you can use a tenon saw, what's behind me, you can use other saws. Um, Japanese saw is really nice because it's got a fine thread. And I'm just gonna saw through. I know that this is going to be long enough, so check your measurements. If the, if the seat tube is going to be 560 or if it's going to be 460, just check that that's going to fit within the parameters. The frame I'm working on here, I've got plenty of room. I've got that much of excess, so that means I can cut that. If I didn't have as much space, I'd probably cut it this end, where it's got a smaller section here, and then it would leave me with more tube, okay? So try and look at your drawing, where the nodes line up and where they work. So that's all cut. So I've cut that nice and squarely. And then seat sleeve fits in really nicely there. There's a little bit of movement, but not loads. So the glue is going to soak that in. And then the final steps I'm just going to show is how you fit this and glue it safely. So if you missed 
my metal inserts workshop, I talked about degreasing, cleaning as you go, and making sure that any of the metal inserts you use are really, really well cleaned, okay? So what we're gonna do is just clean this, like so. And by cleaning, you're gonna lift any oils, any, any grease, or any impurities on the metal. Um, and that's gonna really help to bond. It's gonna allow the glue to bond a lot better. So I've just got some alcohol spray cleaner here, so I'm just gonna put a bit on there. Ideally you want tissue, I'm just gonna use this bit of flax because I haven't got tissue with me. I forgot to bring it into this video. A bit of tissue is ideal. And I'm just gonna give that thorough clean. You can always see all the grease, especially on my hands. I'm not the cleanest person. So yeah, if you work in a workshop and if you're touching things all day, you pick up grease and you pick up all sorts of things. So just give that a really, really good clean. And you can also then just clean the inside of the bamboo and just take out any impurities from the bamboo as well. And that's gonna really help to help bond. Okay. Now, when you have a seat post, the configuration is you have a seat clamp that goes over this sleeve and that's gonna tighten around this slot here. So we've got the seat clamp, seat post there, and that's all then gonna go inside of the bamboo, like so. Okay. And that's gonna be our setup. And then we're gonna flax over all of this so it's all really well reinforced. So, on that note, what I'm gonna do is you take your tack glue, so this is our standard ET500 glue that comes in your home build kit, and this is gonna tack it into place. So I'm gonna squeeze some of this out, and I'm not gonna do it live, because then I'll waste this piece. I'm just gonna show you, so you squeeze that out, mix it thoroughly, glue in the bamboo first, so put all the glue inside of the bamboo, and then slide the sleeve in and rotate it as you go. Okay, so as you glue, rotate it, and that's gonna allow for all the glue to spread around. And put the sleeve in halfway, so just as much as I've done there. So if you're just joining us, this is all about seat sleeves. There's loads of different videos on our YouTube. If you are enjoying, or if you'd like to support us, please subscribe. It allows us just to help see who's interested, what people like, and also just build our community. And then, you know, it's great to get comments and feedback from everyone because that helps us develop what videos we're gonna do next. And this is all free for you. So if you like what you see, please support us and subscribe. So I've glued half of this in. You then wanna glue the rest in. Add more glue on now. So if I've got glue here, add glue on here and then rotate through. And I would do this up to this point here. So the shiny part of the seat sleeve, so you can see there, the shiny part is all exposed, okay? Let that set. And then when you come to do the flax, cover the seat and the shiny part with the flax, like so, because you then get a really good bind around the metal and it allows it to grip more around the flax. And it also, what's really useful is it then just waterproofs the top of the seat sleeve and it stops water getting down inside the sleeve. If you go right to the base, you haven't got any material to bond onto and you're likely to get water seeping down between the aluminium and the sleeve. So what I would do, just pull that out and where the shiny part is showing here, just leave that exposed, glue that in. And then when you flax with the cloth, you then cover all of that, allowing a centimeter for the sleeve, for the clamp rather. So this clamp is something you put on afterwards. So allow a centimeter. And if you're not sure, just mark with a pencil where the clamp's gonna go so that you don't flax. And so that is basically how you fit a seat sleeve. Hopefully that helped. If you are running, for example, a dropper post or anything like that, what you will need to be considerate of is as your cable comes up, 
you want to test where the bottom of the post comes to. So once you've done this, you test where the post comes to, and then you leave your internal cable for your dropper at the bottom of the seat post, okay? So that's something to consider. Obviously that's for mountain bikes, gravel bikes, for using a dropper and you wanna run an internal cable. That is possible, but you need to plan and be aware. And hopefully this explains that when you pick up a piece of metal and insert it into the bamboo for the seat sleeve, please be considerate that you are creating something that is gonna hold you and you're gonna fit a seat post in. So just check this. Don't fit it in a bad way. So don't fit it down here where you wouldn't get the clearance because of the node. And just try and think as you build about creating a bicycle. That's the key. Think about the components, how they're gonna to work together, how they're gonna be in syn synchronized with your frame, okay? Thank you ever so much for tuning into this live session. This has all been about seat posts and how to fit. And hopefully it's helped everyone at home that's building. If you want us to cover more, or if you're looking for something that you're struggling with at home, or you would like more information on, please just message us or add a comment, and we will cover that in our next Wednesday workshop. So thanks again, and thanks for tuning in. And I appreciate hearing more from all of you that watch it. Bye for now.